praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 17 says, Being strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. I got baptized with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues in August 1978. And to the glory of God ever since then, every day I pray in tongues. That is one of the things that keeps me going. I want to encourage you, get born again, get baptized with the Holy Spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, and daily spend quality time praying in tongues. Let's pray in tongues together. Agree with me as I pray with you in tongues. Look at Jaila Konda. Elea Konomo. Iri elaka to go jinde. Efaya to ya. Ifaya doko a inde lumiya. Iri de kodo gada montolo. Akpado sinto a idana ha. Ri aidano uki yoga. Ifaya tonia. Lord in heaven, you know the details of my listener. You know the details of their life. You know the details the person doesn't know about himself, about herself. Holy Spirit, intervene and grant this person breakthrough. Grant this person extraordinary miracle. Put laughter in the mouth. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Before the sun we set today, you will testify in Jesus' name. Let's hear your testimony. Moments ago, while I was still in prayers, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about the lives of some of our listeners. Oh my God, who is this person? You are experiencing a painful growth, very painful growth, around the region of your private part. Aha! You are the one. Let me pray for you. Lord Jesus Christ has said in Matthew 15, 13, that every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted up. I do decree that this painful growth be uprooted and cast to the dry land. In Jesus' mighty name, I speak healing to your body. You are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. Ah 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 ah. Who is this other person? Ever since the last time you traveled to your home village, you've been experiencing a kind of siege, diabolical, occultic fetish siege against your business and finances. Aha, uh-huh. you are the one, isn't it? Don't worry, your deliverance is on the way now. Rise up and act on this prophetic instruction. Take three steps forward. One, two, three. Yes, I decree, as I've carried out our prophetic instruction, you are out of siege. You make progress. I decree it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. We are waiting to hear your testimony. Aha, this one is for everyone. The Lord has given an instruction. Get anything new. I want to use it to pray for you. It can be a new pen, a new cloth, a new book, anything new, and hold it. Lord, I use Isaiah 43 verse 19 to pray for this person, holding something new. You said, Behold, I will do a new thing. Lord, give this person a new joy, a new laughter, a new dancing, a new testimony a new strength, a new breakthrough, now in Jesus' mighty name. It is done. (laughs) Yes, it is done. I saw a sign that something new has started in your life. Share your testimony with us. Oh, oh, there is a lady there. You are a bit elderly. And in your mind, you are saying this man of God didn't say anything particular about you. Well, let me tell you what God showed me about you. You are in your late 50s. Mm, You are in your late 50s. And of course, you have reached monopause. But for about three months now, you have been having very severe pains around your abdomen. Pains as if you want to experience your menstruation. 
which has ceased many years. Aha, you are the one. You said God has remembered you. Lay your hands upon your abdomen. I speak healing. I speak peace to your body in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. It's as simple as that. Let's, let's hear your testimony also. Praise God. Our God is awesome. Anytime you dream or you wake up from your dream or sleep, as soon as you wake up, just give me a chat, narrating the dream into details, and by the grace of God freely, I will interpret your dreams to you. Don't ever ignore your dreams. This is Charles at Debola's ministry. We are still on the topic that I've titled Dreams on Money. And somebody said, Reverend, what is the interpretation of this dream? I find myself buying much landed properties. Ah, it's a good one. You are buying landed properties. It means you are going to go into ex-state business. And I tell you, estate business is one of the most lucrative business you can ever invest money into. Especially in this part of the world. Land never depreciates. Land always appreciates anytime you invest money onto it. Psalm 44 verse 3. Have you seen it before? It says, For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but thy right hand and thy arm, and the light of thy countenance, because thou didst had a favor unto them. Because thou didst had a favor unto them. One day favor is worth more than 10 years of labor. I will come back to pray for you. I have a prophetic instruction of what you should do. Get hold of a bottle of water or a glass of water and I'll come to use it to pray for you after this announcement. Please do resend to this audio broadcast to all your contacts and to the WhatsApp group you belong to. And if it has been someone resending it to you, register directly with us for free so that we can be sending it more prompt to you. When you want to register for free, just give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. By the grace of God it's about twelve midnight every day that we send our fresh broadcast. If it has not been delivered to your devices by six AM, just give us a chat of reminder. It is our joy to have it resent to you. The ministry you are listening to, we are into massive work of evangelism and we do solicit for your voluntary financial support. You don't have to be a multi-millionaire nor a billionaire before you can support this ministry. There are those who support us regularly with 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 and even more. The beauty of it is that you can support us with any currency being spent in a country where you reside whether Naira, dollars, pounds, or euro. Read the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. There God commanded that you pay your tithe. He said he will open the windows of heaven and also bless you. Your tithe is 10% of your income and of your profit. We have numerous people paying their tithe to this ministry. And I want to encourage you to begin to do likewise. Anytime you pray or you fast on any issues and the answers are not forthcoming, don't get discouraged. Go an extra mile. Back up your prayer with sacrificial seed faith offering. Sacrificial seed faith offering is a demonstration of your faith and desperation before God. God honors faith. God recognizes sacrifices. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. When you did the bank details to do any of this, give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. This other line is for you to reach me directly for prayers. Plus two three four eight zero six double three one nine three six four. I didn't forget. 
Let me pray into that water. Holy Spirit, breathe into this water. Let there be the impartation of favor, uncommon favor, extraordinary favor, strange favor, unprecedented favor, incredible favor, inexplicable favor into the life of this person. Immediately this person drinks this water, favor begins now in Jesus' name. Go ahead, drink of it and share your testimonies with us. Please do broadcast this audio to all your contacts. You are blessed.